Global warming and water shortages are two of the biggest challenges we face in the coming century. The textile industry contributes to these impacts as it takes huge amounts of energy and water to convert a raw material into a fibre and then into a fabric. For design that reduces energy use, we need to consider all stages of a garment's life to make appropriate material choices. Different materials will have varying energy impacts depending on the raw materials they are made from. Polyester is manufactured from non-renewable petroleum and requires huge energy input to produce the fibre. Cotton, on the other hand, has low energy impacts at the fibre production stage, but is energy intensive during the use phase. Besides these material considerations, in the use phase we can try to develop behaviour change to encourage low impact washing habits. We could even design garments to be used just once and then recycled. When it comes to water impacts at the raw material stage, cotton is one of the most intensive crops, using up to 29,000 litres of water per kilogram of cotton. We can choose alternative fibres such as bamboo or hemp that are less thirsty crops. The finishing stage of textile production, when textiles are dyed, treated, printed and washed, also has high water impacts. Here designers can perhaps consider employing innovations in ozone technology for denim finishing that reduce water use by up to 90% or use waterless dye techniques that print colour on polyester using heat or use CO2 instead of water and even use nanotechnology textile treatments that control odours, reducing the need for frequent laundering.